Alright, hello guys, welcome back to another daily coding videos from Dosen Coding. And today I would like to share how I create, uh, oh, um, how is my workflow to creating or updating some features in Filament with Cloud Code. So let's see how I can do this uh, with the help of Laravel Boost. Okay, in the previous video, I already create a introduction about Laravel Boost, and today I would like to. Uh, show you how this can be used in the uh, filament app so we can check uh, slash mcp to check uh, whether the mcp is uh, mcp is uh, already activated today uh, this time we have heart and laravel boost then we can shift tab to plan mode uh, usually i will start with a plan mode and then i will improve and refine the result then after the result is uh, acceptable in my opinion then we will continue on and usually i will move to auto accept on but uh, for the big uh, for the beginning of the working phase i will always use plan mode okay let's see that uh, today i would like to add a new feature to this uh, customer resource I would like to add uh, photos to the customer resource and uh, of course there will be update uh, sub, uh, something like add new column in the migration factory seeders and etc also uh, create the uh, upload field for this form and the tables let's see how, how we can use uh, cloud code to help us code with the, uh, for this feature okay, I will explain uh, I will explain uh, to the AI, uh, what I want, what I, in, I am intend to do. So, uh, usually you should create a precise and clear request so the AI will do it properly. Okay, let's see. Uh, I want uh, check uh, we can use add to mention resource. This one, I want a new column for profile picture so that uh, the admin can add a customer profile picture. So usually uh, Cloud is so good at uh, understanding what our context is. I think this is enough. Let's see. Uh, I'm still in the plan mode and see what uh, Cloud can do and how they plan about these things. So of course they will read the customer form, customer table, customer model. Uh, because we use the Laravel Boost MCP, uh, the uh, AI already check. Uh, also the customer tables, customer migration, uh, seeder, and etc. Uh, we can continue. Uh, they ask uh, Laravel Boost uh, search documentation. This is good. And we just let yes. They want to know uh, the documentation on filaments on how to create a file upload components. Okay, just let's let accept this and then uh, the MCP help uh, cloud to search into the right place to the right documentation and uh, because we are in the plan mode the, the AI uh, show his plan on how he will do uh, how cloud will do uh, the work so before you accept and please check yeah uh, they, they add a new migration profile pictures uh, add profile picture to available okay uh, add file upload avatar mode for circular display okay image restriction only image allowed here this is nice i do not specify which image but uh, he uh, the cloud give us uh, image restriction this is good because if we allow file upload it will be so many file extension image is will be the most appropriate uh, column for this task and then 
circle cropper oke okay. oke okay. add image column to the tables and image entry to customer info list if needed uh, because oh yeah we have info list so that's why and uh, create a new migration files fillables file upload image column and image entry so uh, I think this is good uh, and this is a solid uh, implementation implementation plan so when we agree with this then we can uh, access and accept manually accept the edit I usually choose uh, manually accept edit instead of automatically in terms uh, to make sure uh, what are they code uh, and to make sure that they are not hallucinate too much but so far I think it's okay okay migration comment I think oh yeah be careful with the migration comment unless you really trust uh, the cloud or the AI with the database action please back up your database before you works and make sure you are working in the development environment do not allow AI to go to your database in the production environment yeah please be careful about that because I am in the development so I say yes this is uh, good so far we can check the changes uh, he add the profile features that's okay of, of course the profile features will be nullables okay no problems uh, the interesting an interesting way when, while we working with Laravel and AI is that the Laravel is already provide a, a clear best practice that uh, us as a programmer can use and also but also the AI can also use that best practice so it was very easy for the AI to understand and implement our request once we provide a good MCP, provide a good context, and provide a good framework that they can learn. I think this is okay. Just yes. Usually, after several steps, I will uh, yes for all because, yeah, we can check the implementation uh, plan. If the plan is okay, then I will yes for all after this. Okay, let's see. Mm, yeah, yeah, add an image column and let's go. Let's um, let's let's the AI works, but we are the mastermind. We are the one who control them. Make sure that you are the one who control the AI, because once this code is submitted to pull request to your production, this code is your code, not the AI code. So please be responsible with your AI coding activity. <laughs> but as you can see when we add proper mcp when we add proper documentation clear instruction uh, all of our manual works can be done with the help of the ai so this is fun right although i think when i do this manually i can do this faster but yeah sometimes there will be mistakes but it's okay let's see uh, how this is working yes this is a, a photos column here available when we new image let's see we can add some random things okay it's all there so that's how you guys coding with ai but please before you code with ai you need to understand the basic if you need to understand the basic you know where to go. Go to this channel and learn together with me. Alright, see you guys in the next daily coding tips.